the Design Museum of Chicago's mission is to educate, inspire, and foster innovation through design. And often when we're thinking about programming at the museum, we're thinking about programming that exists outside of our four walls. Postcards to Chicago is a perfect example of this, where we went to a place, we found a canvas, we worked with the community to make something that was impactful. Let's get this up. Don't wrinkle it. For some years, as a board member of the Navy Pier, I've been encouraging the board to find some way to make the north side more pleasant, more, more, more friendly. And I found myself one night at dinner with Helen, and we were talking about art, and I was telling her how unhappy I am with the way the pier looks on the north side. I went, oh my God, that's just the perfect thing. Perfect. I ran immediately the next morning to call Tanner because I knew this was an opportunity for Tanner, for the Design Museum, and for the city to make something terrific happen, which of course happened. I'm Michelle Boone, the Chief Program and Civic Engagement Officer at Navy Pier, Chicago's lakefront treasure. It's the People's Pier. And you're here at the North Dock, the site of the Postcards to Chicago mural. The Design Museum of Chicago is really an important institution because it really helps elevate the role that Chicago has played in design globally. Uh, we, we are a platform. The Design Museum exists as a platform to prop up ideas, to prop up people, to prop up places, to reveal things, to highlight things. We're really nimble and flexible. Do we really need a bigger space and a real space? Of course we do. But that doesn't mean you can't function because this city functions like that. So Navy Beer is a perfect example. Our wonderful postcard, you know, it's outside. It's not inside. It isn't in a building. It's on a building, accessible to everybody. Not only is this a great tribute to the imagination of the Design Museum, but it's also a great showcase for emerging artists here in Chicago. My name is Elena in Purnell and I'm a grad student at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. So I was a photographer on the project. I photographed the wave wall stair. One thing that I really learned from working on postcards to Chicago was the importance of collaboration and um, forming community. Since 2012, the Design Museum of Chicago has put on 181 events and around 18 exhibitions, around 200 programs. And that sounds like a lot. In fact, it is a lot. And the reason we're able to do all of these different activations is because we're, we work very closely with partners. So Tanner, check out our colors here. So it's our purple. For the... I'm Steve Rokiki at Color4 in Libertyville, Illinois. We spend a lot of time on color management. We spend a lot of time on trying to figure out what the designer's looking to get out of the project. Um, where it's going to be, the audience. This is the first project we got to do at Navy Pier. I think Tanner and I spoke every single day for three weeks. The, the just the sheer scale of size was the challenge. Looking at the depth of these circles and how they relate back to the other artwork, right. and it blows me away just how minute it is on the screen and how massive it is in person. I think that thing was 700, over 700 feet long. Uh, 90 feet high. You're talking two 100 foot lifts, six guys putting this stuff up, and it turned out great. Everybody knows Navy Pier, so it's kind of cool to say, yeah, we did that. I'm not a great student of art. Uh, I can only tell you what I like, and I like it very much. So, so when you came up with the idea of this being postcards, so that's, it, it is a real, I think, message to the city. Yeah. It really is a message, yeah. A visual message, that's cool. I think it really honors and lives up to the mission of the People's Pier um, and inviting not just Chicagoans, but people from all over the world to really get a chance to see and experience what culture and art in Chicago is all about. Chicago itself is a design museum. It's kind of in the DNA, if you will, of Chicago. 
I think inherently a museum is neutral ground. It's a place that anybody can come and experience things however they so choose. These sanctuaries are getting harder and harder to find, so it's really important for me to build one. The work is so unique, and the, and the work being designed to make the city a better place, not just a piece of art. That's what I think is so meaningful. Designers have a responsibility to make the world better. Uh, Chicago is one of the best places in the country to live. Uh, it has so many different things and activities for people, from the lakefront uh, to the western suburbs. And I think the contribution of the Design Museum to making it a more pleasant, more livable, uh, culturally satisfying city. Makes me feel personally um, happy. <laughs> There's a, a joie, if you will. There's a joy to this. You know, we get very serious about our subjects. You have to remember that this is not, this is not like a, 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 a dirty job. This is, this, is, this is how your life, you know, expands and you solve problems and you have fun doing it. But this has been more than fun. This has really been uh, a gift.